First responders from across the state come together to pay their respects to a fallen ambulance service member. MTN's John Amy was in Anaconda to witness the outpouring of support. The procession stretched for more than a mile as teams of first responders from all over the state drove into Anaconda to honor one of their own. They came to remember Daryl and Day, an EMT from Anaconda who died in the line of duty while working for the Powell County Ambulance Service. Day's relatives were overwhelmed by the support. To see them come out in droves like this for her, we're just so humbled. Oh, it's overwhelming. The reaction of the people and the EMT people, or special anyway, have really showed a love and a thing that's really on the one be forgotten. Day was killed on August 18th by a car that was participating in the demolition derby at the Tri-County Fair in Deer Lodge. Several spectators were injured. Day is remembered for her dedication to her job and the community. Mary Lynn has been such a big part of Deer Lodge and Anaconda with all the roles that she's played in the different, in, sorry, in the different um, arenas that she's worked at. She's worked at the state hospital. She's worked with underage, underprivileged people. The procession traveled from Deer Lodge to Anaconda and ended at the Washoe Theater where her funeral service was held. She was a sweetheart. She cared, she loved people, and she loved doing what she did. In Anaconda, John Amy, MTN News. Thank you, John. And he says that Day is survived by her husband and two children. She was 36 years old.